Looking for an electric bike? Want to convert a bike you already have? Or just looking for an extra battery for your e-bike? Check out our range at lebikes.co.uk up my name is Liam Angel aka Straight Shooting LJ and welcome to another episode of the LE Bikes Opinion Pieces and Vlog and Podcast and you know what what I'm going to name this is Floating Bus Stops and Dangerous Cycling now the reason why I'm going to talk about that is because two things recently have been in the news and the first of these is that campaigners have called for a ban of so-called floating bus stops in London. The design, which has a cycle lane between the stop and the pavement, is intended to allow bus passengers to get on and off safely while cyclists can keep moving. Um, Transport for London TfL, which has funded 160 of the stops, says the likelihood of being injured by a cyclist at a bypass is very low. Um, the Department for Transport says schemes should be accessible to all. Um, it come, Now, the National Federation of Blind UK's um, NFB has produced a petition um, which has been signed by more than 270 organisations and will be handed to Downing Street at some point as well. It comes after a video posted by the NFB that shows what it describes as the chaotic and downright dangerous situation at a bus stop outside St. Thomas's Hospital near Waterloo. It showed a pedestrian walking into a cycle lane and falling to the ground after a cyclist knocks him off balance. These designs are not safe and they need to be urgently halted, it posted. Age UK London, the London Sports Club for the Blind and Disability Rights UK, are among so, sorry, London Sports Club for the Blind and Disability Rights UK are, are among the signatories of the petition. Last month, the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, told the BBC that floating stops were installed during the second term because a disproportionate number of cyclists had been injured and killed as a consequence of buses. Um, Sarah Gayton, Street Access Campaign Coordinator for the NFP, stressed that the organisation was not calling for the wholesale removal of cycle lanes. Um, we're calling for a redesign of cycle lanes around bus stops so the bus can pull up directly to the pavement so blind and visually impaired people can board the bus directly without having to cross or step into a cycle lane, she said. Blind people have fewer choices. Cyclists can see and stop. We want the floating bus stops and the shared use bus borders to be removed. Um, Caroline Russell, a Green Party member um, of the London Assembly, backed the floating bus stops due to what she said was overwhelming evidence that the design had reduced the number of people killed or seriously injured. So, there's that topic. Now, the other topic as well, um, death by dangerous cycling set to become an offence. Um, causing death or serious injury um, by careless cycling is set to become offence after the government agreed to a change in the law. Under the change, dangerous cyclists could face up to 14 years in prison. It followed campaigning by Tory MP Ian Duncan Smith, who said cyclists should be accountable for reckless behaviour. Um, the law change will, will be introduced after um, Sir Ian produced, sorry, proposed an amendment to the Criminal Justice Bill, which is currently going through Parliament. Speaking in the House of Commons, the former Conservative leader said his proposal was not anti-cycling. Quite the opposite. It's about making sure this takes place in a safe and reasonable manner. He raised the case of Matthew Briggs, whose wife died from head injuries following a collision with a cyclist in London in 2016. He said that Mr. Briggs' attempt to get a cyclist prosecuted involved a legal process that was so convoluted and difficult, even the presiding judge raised concerns and said the laws needed to be addressed. His proposal, proposal um, amendment creates the, an offence of causing death or serious injury by dangerous, careless or inconsiderate cycling. He said it would achieve a, equal accountability. Um, just as drivers are held accountable for dangerous driving that results in death, cyclists, he feels, should face similar consequences for reckless behaviour that leads to fatalities. Um, back in the change, Transport Secretary Mark Harper said most cyclists, like most drivers, are responsible and considerate, but it's only right that the tiny minority who recklessly disregard others face the full weight of the law for doing so. Now, I will take the second one first. Death by reckless, careless, dangerous cycling should be punished by prison time. It should. There's no way around that for me. 
because there are a lot of cyclists who do not take due care do, whether it be cycling in in a cycle lane whether it be not wearing a helmet whether it be running red lights and as much as i hate to demonize just one section there are a lot of delivery riders like that not all but a lot and you see them on souped up bikes thousand watts two thousand watts three thousand watts in some cases where they're pinging above the speed limits and also a lot of them with no helmets, no protective gear. So if you're not protecting yourself, you're clearly not protecting others either. And as I said, a lot of these guys will be running around with no insurance or anything like that. So there needs to be punishment for careless, reckless and dangerous cycling, definitely especially even more so if you kill someone or you seriously injure them because you look at and it ties into the floating bus stops as well because you look at the floating bus stops horrible idea I've always felt that I've always hated them to be honest as a as a regular and avid e-biker and cyclist myself I've always hated them because you look at it it's pavement cycle lane bus stop then bus for someone who's blind or disabled or maybe hearing impaired, visually impaired, that's a lot of steps to get on a bus. And they might not necessarily have the awareness, the spatial awareness, or the timing to be able to kind of quickly step out of the way of an oncoming vehicle which a bicycle is, and especially an electric bike is. So those are accidents. In my view, I've always felt those floating bus stops are accidents waiting to happen. And as I said, I've never been a fan of them. And for them to be removed, yeah, I'm all for it. I'm all for removing them, to be perfectly frank. And I don't think it's anti-cycling. Either of these initiatives are anti-cycling whether it be punishing with 14 years, up to 14 years in prison because of dangerous, reckless or um, careless cycling causing a fatality or serious injury or removing these idiotic floating bus stops. I think whoever, kill, if you kill someone, if you injure someone, you should be held accountable as a cyclist, motorist, an e-bike rider, whatever, you should be held accountable. Also, these floating bus stops, whoever created them is a moron and needs to be held accountable for that too. Because uh, there definitely needs to be equal accountability. Now, I think also bus drivers have a responsibility and a duty of care as well. They need to be responsible as well because there are a lot of bus drivers who don't look out for cyclists. And I see this on a daily basis. There are a lot of motorists who don't look out for cyclists. So there has to be give and take between every single entity on the road. There definitely needs to be give and take. Because you can't have cyclists being demonized at the same but at the same time you got motorists and stuff getting away with it. Like I was involved in a hit and run just over a year ago and because the person who callously hit and hit and ran away from me the registration on his car was not registered to anybody so that automatically intimates a stolen vehicle so that reckless and careless attitude as a motorist towards a cyclist there's a duty of care failed there in the same way someone pinging around on a 2000 watt electric bike like, that's endangering the public. That's endangering people. They're just throttling around, not even pedaling. That vehicle should be taxed, should be MOT'd. You should be making sure that the battery's safe on it, that the motor's safe on it. So, I said, it's like, there's, but there's pedestrians also who do need to take responsibility. There are some on their phones who are literally zombies like this. And don't come off their phones. And I've had on so many occasions where I've seen someone literally on their phone like this. And I'd be like, hey, hey, hey. 
no response. And I've literally been right next to him, had to slam on my brakes. So I'm like, excuse me, like, come on. I've just been screaming at you for the past five, 10 seconds because I've seen you not come off your phone. You're so engrossed on your phone. You need, you, you need to be aware of what's around you. So there's that side as well. So, but as I said, we are strictly speaking about careless, reckless, dangerous cycling causing a fatality. And yes, that should be punishable by up to 14 years in prison. Yeah, I totally agree with that. As I said, I also agree with the floating bus stops being removed too because they're a hazard. It's an absolute joke. It's a cluster. But yeah, that's just my take on it. But I want to know your take, your take. Lebikes.co.uk is our official website. YouTube.com forward slash at L-E Bikes. Let us know your views. We have the tips and tricks series. We have the opinion pieces, vlogs and podcasts as well. Anywhere you pick up your podcast, you can hear the L-E Bikes opinion pieces, vlog and podcasts as well. Um, we are L-E Bikes LTD. We're on TikTok. We're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook as well, facebook.com forward slash Ellie Bikes LTD. Everywhere on the socials is where we are at. That said, our official website is elliebikes.co.uk. We're official resellers and distributors for Engway electric bikes and also Himiway long range electric bikes as well. We've, we do bike to e-bike conversions. So if you wanna give yourself a little bit of assistance, you can go 250 watts. You can customize it how you want with a battery, long range battery as well. Choose your display. Bike to e-bike conversions. Choose us at lebikes.co.uk. Also, if your battery's on the way out, we can potentially get that refurbished and repaired for you as well to get your back riding as well. I said, we want to know your views. What do you think about the floating bus stops in London? Are they a hazard? Do they need to be scrapped? And also, dangerous, reckless, careless cycling, does that need to be punished? And should that be punished in the same way as motorists with up to 14 years in prison if you cause a fatality or serious injury by dangerous, careless or reckless cycling? I have been Liam Angel, and from all of us here at LE Bikes, take care and happy riding, everyone. See you next time. Mid-drive motor conversion kits, ready-made e-bikes, batteries, bike to e-bike conversions, custom builds and more. Start your journey into electric bikes at lebikes.co.uk.